Hello, welcome back to Ratopia. I've played the game a bit and I didn't want to play much because there was nothing to do. But now with the update, you have a lot of things to do because of, apart from you know building your city and having fun, you can also have a lot of infrastructures. You can also basically automatize your entire city. The biggest problem of the game that is probably going to affect most people is that you need to build a big city in order to have everything. But if you have a big city with everything, you need a lot of population. And to support a large amount of population is the biggest challenge of the game. So that created kind of a weird problem because you needed more people to advance, but you needed less people to keep going, in a way. So as you can see, I finished uh, a game in two years, play two years in a single game. Basically, I did everything I wanted to do, but I also didn't win because I didn't have the monuments ready. I didn't reach 100 population, not to the middle class, still rain, right? More than 30 ratrons. I'll read some of the patch notes of the things they introduced in a bit. This is one of the new achievements because as you can see, you can have mice robots. Now the hardest part of the game is actually me calling them mice instead of rats. Because as you can see, it's ratrons instead of mice thrones. Anyway, you get the idea. Build a decorative structure. Hmm, interesting. Homemade. And also, we'll need to enter the dungeons. We'll try to do all of the dungeons. Prosperity level 7, weasel barracks. Not sure, but this seems like it's a new thing for me. I don't remember seeing the weasel barracks. Remember, you're going to get attacked by zombie rats and other creatures. So the weasels, if you play the first one, Rattopia, Ratropolis, I think it's called, you're facing against the weasels, some of the some of the sea creatures. Not sure. I, I don't remember exactly what they were, but it was definitely the zombies, the weasels, I think some lizards and some other enemies as well. Emperor Ratron, Forgotten Mine, Barbaric Palace. Hmm. I have a lot of things to do apparently, so I'll keep this over here. So what did they add? They added 22 electricity structures. Meaning transmission wires, power box, storage battery, small light, surveillance camera, restoration gate, a Ratron recharger, Tesla tower, some raw material structures, rat power generate. <laughs> it sounds exactly as fun as it could be because the rats will be forced to... And not run on a thread mill, but turn the crank to generate power. Hydroelectric, thermal generator, sprinkler. Oh, sprinkler sounds nice. Production structures, advanced laboratory, parts, factory, circuit factory. Also have a shock mine and an electric trap. Communication tower with drones, because now you have drones. If you remember craft the world, in craft the world you had a spell to summon imps. The imps would basically take all of the things on the ground and put them in your inventory or mine. Or I don't think they mind, but these drones will construct, will repair, will do demolition and a lot of other things. I think they'll also pick up items, but I might... No, no. It doesn't seem like they can pick up items. So they definitely inspired this from Craft the Wall, but it seems like they will handle all of the heavy lifting, mostly. That's an assembly part. Plant. So they can... Oh... They can basically make the Ratrons do the menial tasks, like cutting up meat or other stuff. <laughs> and we also have infrastructure, edge block, military, military structures, landmine and explosive barricade. Oh, explosive barricade sounds nice. We also have a scientist monument as a decoration and engineering workbench. And we also have a volcanic biome. We also have more materials like ash, sulfur, nickel, obsidian, flammon, pyroblossom seed. I think these are just for the new ratrons, for the new cyber rats, cyber mice. Products, copper wire, battery, laborator, labor, chipset, specialty chipset, black powder, interesting. Intelligence re reduces the time required for research. If you know me, I used to play with a lot of intelligence. That's how I'll play today as well. Because previously, intelligence was not as useful as strength or dexterity. Nice, so the satisfaction decrease for each of the joint and hygiene structure has been adjusted. So yeah. Anyway, they made the things a little better because it was kind of weird in the beginning. Anyway, let's just leave it like that. There are a lot of patch notes, but it's just better to play the game and have a little fun. Now, we might need to restart the game. We'll have Eliza Rat. That's a nice name. Noble hair. Sharp face. Sharp face always. Cloth. I don't know. I like this one because it looks like armor. As you can see, I used to play the prestigious color all the time. Which was probably the weakest, to be honest. Probably the better one is the Agile Explorer for the beginning. 
Even the warrior or anything was better than the prestigious scholar, but now apparently the prestigious scholar is the best one, in my opinion, for the long run. But it will slow you down a lot in the beginning of the game, but the extra research point will allow us to kind of um, jumpstart a little settlement. Just a little bit. Settlement Ratopia, starting spirit season. As you can see, you cannot change this, I think. Only the seed. Interesting. We can... We'll probably have more biomes in the beginning, after a few more patches, so that will be interesting. The flag. Oh yeah, I think they made it so you can only save the pattern. You don't have to modify this every time you start again, so they save your cha your uh, choices. Peaceful. Hard. We'll always play on hard. The tutorial will be deactivated because the tutorial is a bit annoying in the beginning of the game, so let's start. Now, there is only one reason why I would recommend you restart the game. In case there is a big pile of water under your base or in case there is just stuff you cannot handle be below your base. Because that will need you to terraform a lot more and build a lot more things, which is not really fun because you want the base to go up and down. You cannot really build to the left or to the right, since you need the trees and the other stuff. So before I do anything, I just need to see what I have down here. Yeah, this will not work. We need to restart. I think there is a restart button. Okay, we'll have to go to the title. You don't want to destroy the bees. The bees are an important resource, and if you destroy them over here, you might not find them anywhere else. But again, since they modify that, everything stays the same. So we just have to click on start again. So it's hard. There is a rat scholar. That's a nice that's a nice thing they added, but they should probably add a restart button just in case you don't like the map. I don't know. I played the game a lot of hours. How many hours did I play? 55 hours. <laughs> Like this, that's not a lot, a lot. It's not streamer hours, but it's a decent amount for an early access game. Is it starting me on the same map? I feel like it's starting me on the same map. I hope not. Yeah, well, I guess we can destroy the bees, but it seems like it's a waste of... It's kind of sad if you have to destroy them. Oh, does it save the same... Wait a minute. The same seed... Okay, I guess you can. Let's play on this one. I never really thought about that, but it might even save the same seed. So, if you find the seed that you like, you might be able to play on that as far as long as you like. I guess that would make sense. Of course, I didn't remember the seed number this time <laughs> either. But that's what you want. You want it something like this. You want rock and a lot of leaves. Really? Is it because of the biome you only start something like this? <laughs> I like the little jump. Let me check a little more because I want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, don't destroy any of the trees in the beginning. This is surely not a good base location. No, it's even worse than the other one. Wow. Okay. Sorry about this, I'm just showing the process and how I decide if I want to keep a base or not. Sometimes you get a good one from the first try, sometimes you don't get it. Oh yeah, so it does change every time. I guess I just got a bit unlucky. Uh, because if you don't have the raw materials in the beginning to build, it will just make everything so much harder, especially because I'm playing on hard difficulty. Hey game, give me something. Just slightly better i don't oh wow <sighs> water is over there i guess that's acceptable it's not bad mm, this tree will have to go remember you have to leave one spot on the side of each of these things for the elevator now do i remember how to play not really so it will be a little bit of a Memory jog. Oh yeah, we have to build this. Okay, now it's coming back to me. So you have to build the ladder and the second level under the base will always be the rail track. What does that mean? In essence, it means we need to have a two wide over here 
Okay. So that's basically only the beginning of the base. Yeah, we have to do so much more. Got that. Okay, so the first level I'll be able to build will be this one. Let's get the grass. Yeah, this game is so hard to play if you don't know how to do it. It's one of those games that you really, really, really need a lot of passion to play and learn. Now, I also like to build it like this, so you have to be super careful how you build things, because if you mess up in the beginning, yeah, it's going to be very hard to get back to the game. Good. That will sort of be a trouble. Okay, so as you can see, we'll build over here, but I need free tiles or free space to build because we need to build a rat entrance. Hmm. I guess that's manageable, but I'll have to build and rebuild a lot more than usual. I don't have enough leaves over there. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game will not be for everyone, especially considering how how intensive it is in the beginning. Ah, you can fall down, don't worry. Rabbits over here. Ah, that's not a good sign. Again, you would probably have to restart a bunch of times if you know how to do this the proper way. I'm not going to do it the proper way. It will be annoying. Also get uh, the one to three. So yeah, this this is not a good map. It will require a lot of terraforming from my part. I'm not a fan of. Not the latter, but it's okay. I guess it can be a little harder than I'm usually accustomed to. The rabbits will kind of be a problem in the beginning. I guess we can use them, but still. I would have preferred it not to have the rabbits over there. So this would be the place for the gate. Now we do have to put some materials in the main base, otherwise you don't get the research point. Wait, is she stepping on a little stool? When did that happen? That's so cute. Cute and amazing. The research points are there. Yeah, this is going to be super hard to remember, but I think we'll manage. Train for the food as well. Okay, now let's look at the Royal Staff City entrance. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's also another problem. And now we have to do everything on our own, which is the hard part. Usually you want to have a map that this is fully built over here, fully... I guess it's grounded. <laughs> it does step on the stool. Okay. Over here. And this time I'll not cheat I'll not at all on my, my selection, because you can just load the game. Save game, load game before you choose your mice. as you can imagine can provide a lot of bonuses because depending on the mice selection you might have a very easy time or a very hard time so yeah i'll try to play as fair as i can but as a little warning you'll never get enough good mice to finish the game just by selecting the basic ones let me show you the timing so as you can see these guys are all trash in my opinion they're not really worth it. Frugal is nice. Well, I guess this guy is nice, but as you can see, he's an elitist, which is kind of a bad thing to have. Well, I guess it's just extra planning. 
Wait a minute, is it actually not that bad, but the extravagant one, but progress. Ah, I guess. Okay. Those guys are only good as guards. Also, we will need to gather that. I don't really need to gather the flowers, but I will need the wood. Yeah, I think I can leave that alone for a little bit more. Uh, the research desk, I'll need a plank, so that... Yeah, it's going to be a very, very long introduction to the game. Now, do I want to destroy that tree? No, not really. Also, my first one will be two. Two length, two, two square tall, I guess. Yeah, you get the idea. I'm just trying to build kind of like a skeleton, so I'll have an easier time building the next ones. The next one will be three, and the next one will be four, and after that, I'll just put my trees or whatever. I kind of forgot about that part. Also, Eliza right over here. Is that? I think he's under G statistics. Oh, research. Leader, okay, over here. As you can see, she has a lot of stats that work with her very, very well. Now, you strength will be important to carry more stuff. I think dexterity is just for speed. Doesn't. It shows over here a little bit, but I wish it would be a little more clear. So yeah, building, gathering, mining, logging. Oh yeah, so it shows a little clearer. So this will be for combat, getting more items, meaning four, uh, four stacks of the same item, let's say, instead of three. Mining and logging. And then research and diplomacy. I guess now research is really, really good. Experience bonus is how much experience you get for leveling up purposes. That's so nice. Also, everyone will need beds. We really need to get research going. So, you need to remove the grass sometimes. Not so bad. Oh no, I just looked at it and I... <laughs> well, it's going to be a harder map than I originally thought, you'll see why. Because I have no bunnies around my base. I think that's the seed, yeah, I hope it's the seed. Yeah, I will probably have bunnies very, very far away from my base. And now I just need a lot of dirt to take over, take to my base to build stuff. <laughs> And one of the features I really wish they would implement is the ability to, to place down structures, plans for structures, without having the resources in your stash. Because that's a big, big problem of the game. As you can see, instead of just building and playing the game, I have to mine dirt. Am I doing this right? No, I'm not doing this right because over here I need to terraform. thinking of putting down the storage now, but I guess it's not the time. Oh yeah, it's going to be super annoying. But lucky for us, we have two brave mice that as you can see will handle the heavy lifting. I guess I can make them gather that as well. I have to leave that grass alone. Yeah, I really wish these guys were a little better at their jobs. Yeah, this is the main thing that kind of hinders my progress in the beginning of the game. Okay, let's get more dirt because apparently that's still the biggest roadblock for me. Easy now. We also need to start producing food. Eh, I used to have so many good games in this one. But now I think it'll be a little harder because I don't remember many of my tips. <laughs> I should probably look at my tips 
videos. I will be fine. I mean, hope I can get. We'll probably lose about 10 or 20 mice in the beginning, but it's okay. We also did not delay this. I'm looking at them because extra health means very, very good guards. Rugal is nice, but slow and uh, that's not going to work. Order is also pretty bad. Um, this would be a situation where I'll just have to reload the game because I don't like any of the options over here. And to be honest, nothing is really that good for me. But just for the sake of choosing something, I'll choose it that over there. Let's put all of the dirt in there. Also, you have to constantly give them order. I wish they would have a permanent harvest thing. But I think that's only available when you build the buildings to do it. And yeah, I also like to use this line over here, which will be the railroad tracks, to just mine a lot of dirt and other materials. That we will be needing super soon. Yeah, they can also do that as well, but I do it a little faster, plus I have more control over my actions. The rats also, the mice, as, see that's the hardest part of the game, calling the mice. They have the same stats as me, I mean better or worse, so if they have better strength they'll do better mining. See, that was an increased in strength. Now I can carry four. Oh, that, that was fast. Okay, usually I like to build st stuff around my base, but in this situation, as you can see, I don't have really the space to build the, the farms and the working stuff around it, because I have all of the plants needed. It's kind of awkward, because that means I'll need to have some structures on top of this. Okay, so I'll try to be a little more... Uh, Went with this game, so I'll just have to build and rebuild a lot more. Oh, I took three, <laughs> three piles of dirt instead of four. That's so inefficient. Okay, this will probably work. Yeah, it's kind of a bad map. I would have probably restarted it. Has some advantages and some fear disadvantages. I'd like to not build anything over here. And they'll have to sleep on the floor once because I need to figure out some of these things first. Okay, raw materials, gathering camp. Oh, what? Now I need to do production first? Sawmill? Sure. See? This is why they should allow you to place down the blueprint without having all of the resources because that's going to take you a few extra seconds or minutes depending on what you need. Ah, they're sleeping so quietly over there. By the way, our happiness will take a big, big hit if we don't solve some of the issues fast. I need one space for the toilet and one space for the circus. I really wish we have some production rats. I mean, it's not such a big deal because if you don't get production rats, it's not so bad. Intelligent, progressive, pessimistic and frugal. Well, he has the dumbbell, but he doesn't have the strength one. Some of them also come with their own resources, militant and... But that's so bad, I wouldn't take any of those. Well, I guess their stats are pretty nice since they have one strength each. Yeah, we need a big population. We need to assign someone to that station over there, which we'll do in a second.
Now, they need strength as you can see, so who has the... It will actually put them in front, who has the highest strength. Okay, we'll have to work with one sawmill for a very long time and then replace Zuri because she will not be happy if someone has... Anyway, you get the idea. Because of that elitist stuff. The game is paused while you're selecting this, but it's still pretty annoying to have to do it all the time. For every time. <laughs> it's not a bubble over there. Uh, if we do that, we probably will end up here. Yeah. I just want to gather the water and do many, 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 many things in the game. And then we'll also have to take care of the taxes, you know, like in every good game you have taxes, right? <laughs> Looks promising, it might be something good in there. But it might be just another dead end, in which case we'll have to terraform even more. Not going to be fun. I guess that's the biggest change I want the developers to do, just allow me to put out the blueprints without having the materials. Your first lumber is here. Yeah, I really wish I could build the laboratory a little faster as well, but the research desk is the highest priori priority. <laughs> yeah, we're basically dwarf mice. Or mice miners. Mice miners. Okay, that sounds like a good name. The mice mi- Wow, I'm playing for 27 minutes already. This game makes time completely fly by. It's remarkable. Okay, finally we can go into research. Now probably, I don't remember what was the best way to do it, but we need to get into research. So we can build some of the happiness buildings, and then we can go into the normal building. I hope you'll take all of them. Eh, might as well do this while I'm here, because it's also extra experience for us. No, he can only carry three. So don't be upset at the mice, they're doing their best. But they can only carry three items because of their strength levels. Okay, we have the toilet. Now we need to research the, the circus stand. Now we can also go to the music stage, but the music stage you cannot use until you use the tablet of laws, the cold stone, to give something. So yeah, that's going to be the annoying part of the game because if you don't know these things, you'll probably search buildings you cannot use. So circus stand. I also want the hunter as fast as possible, silviculture. Yeah, this is the one that gives the boost to the growth rate of plants, so we'll probably need this as well. I want to be super efficient about the stuff I make. And no, that was a mistake. Well, not exactly a mistake, but... I'll need the double beds as soon as possible as well, so we have the third... Where are the beds? Uh, wait! I'm, I'm not seeing the bed, so soft bed, bunk bed. Oh yeah, bunk bed is over there. As you can see, we had a lot of research points, just because of the way I choose to play the game mostly. Also, it's kind of annoying, but we need a lot of food in the beginning. You can also just... Oh. You probably just have to watch the food yourself. Have a little bit of food in the beginning, but it will not last for long. You see, most of them are just gathering stuff. Speed. I don't like the floral, but I like the fish. Yeah, probably I'll have to... Send these guys away. Let me see. Strength is good. This is very, very good. Well, to be honest, I think I can just allow them in because this will kind of jumpstart my defensive situation, but I need my suit production. 
Okay, so this is the last group I'll accept without production. Also, I play the game so much that I know that on hard difficulty you cannot turn down mice that come to join your colony because if you don't if you don't let them join your colony it will be super super rough after a while and we also have to make a very very fast laboratory as well what it can oh i guess it has the little book over there okay that's ten rock that's good you also want your leader to mine as well because that's the that's how the game works. You need to harvest and do a lot of stuff so your stats increase a lot faster. Oh, I should have handled that myself, but it's okay. I guess that will help with the food situation in the beginning since I don't have to go too far away. Now, did you guys research of oh, Hunter's hat is ready? Wait, it's 100% okay. <laughs> oh man, that plank is going to kill me. I really need to make two of those. At the same time, I know it's kind of a small mistake to do so. But the mine is over there, yeah, that's a big problem. See, this is why <laughs> sometimes based on your luck you'll have a lot of luck or a lot of bad luck. That's kind of close, I don't... You cannot destroy the entrance to that thing, but... Yeah, no, it's bad. It's bad because I cannot expand my base in that direction. But on the other hand, I don't think I needed to expand it anyway on, on the good side. That means we'll not have any problems with our railroad system, but it shouldn't spawn there in that direction, I don't know. This seems like it's a bug in the coding. Nothing like the mine, like the dungeon, should spawn this close to your base, in my opinion. Oh well, I guess we just have to make do with what we have. Yeah, I could have used that space for other stuff. Okay, who's the smartest of you all? <laughs> no one is smart. Everyone has just one point. I guess we just have to choose this guy because he gains experience faster than the other ones. <sighs> okay, so I guess we'll have to do the logging camp after that and then the silviculture post and after that we'll just have to see. Probably have to go into military. We'll have to get a cold stone and some other stuff very, very fast. Yeah, I don't think it's feasible to have only one, uh, one locking in the beginning. It actually shows what they restore now. It also shows you who can use it. Anyway, I'll not get into the details of the classes and the other stuff. It's a very, very complex game. It might be... They might be small, but they're very complex creatures. I also just put it down there near the rabbits. Well, if I put it down here, it will not be able to get stuff from above. Well, I guess that's a lot of decisions, but... Yeah, that's the hard part of the game. I guess you just have to compromise and make it over here. The second sawmill. I might even need to make three of them. Yeah, the bunk beds need... Yeah, we need to make three sawmills. But that means we need more stuff. Yeah, look at that. Skillful. This is what I needed, but big appetite and militant. 
You know what? I'll just have to take the skillful because we need so many materials, you wouldn't believe it. Also, we'll need sometimes to just go and check what's happening over here. So, let me see. This will probably be another free. Yes. This is why sometimes you need to go and do stuff on your own because you will not be able to use your mice to explore because you have to give them an order to do something. Hi, Genie. You should probably handle all of that stuff. So I like to, what I like to do is build a toilet over here, then a circus stand over here. There still be bunk beds. And this should cover all of the basic necessities. Now, 9 people at this point of the game is too much. 9 mice is too much because we don't really have food production set up. Because you need also a butcher, not just a hunter. Stop doing that. Yeah, food production will always be a problem, but in this case it will be a much bigger problem. Mostly because, see, I have to do this every time. <laughs> it's getting really annoying. I guess we have no choice either. Yeah, I should have done this a lot sooner. Over there. And we can expand to the left side. Now, we need someone who's very, very strong. This guy would be better suited for this job, but to be honest, I think the problem will be that... No, let's put him. You need someone with more HP and more strength. Also, let's replace that Nadia. Zuri will have to do another job as fast as possible. Okay, that's going to have to do for now. Now, before I end the video, I just want to make sure I plan a little more ahead. So, I think this should be two as well. Yes, that should be two as well. And the next one will be three. This is also how I play Craft the World. I just like to go up instead of down. Because going down is riskier and besides, uh, less rewarding. Yeah, you don't need to do this in the beginning, but I just like to be a little more clear. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're so happy. Well, I say they're happy, but I'm just... Uh, I don't think I'll have another circus for a very, very, very long time until I hit 20 population. And then I'll probably remember to change this. Wait a minute. She has a lot of strength. I guess she's a very strong angry re angry mice mouse. Also wish the developers would allow you to see all of your resources. Yeah, we have a lot of wood, but I guess they only began You know, let me just do this myself. If you give them too many orders, you cannot handle them. They cannot handle the how should I put it? The stress of having so many things to do. Sadly, they don't really go to fetch the food either, so you have to be super careful about your food situation in the beginning. That's bad, you should... Ow. That's very bad. We needed that area to get more food, but I guess 
We'll have to improvise a little longer. I'm Zeno. Send them away. This is my hand of doing also. Maximum range. Let me see. What are you hunting? I guess you can hunt everything you want. Wait, what is that thing? That's new Flamon. It's a creature. My my cause endless burning. So it's actually a, a super aggressive. Well, not aggressive, but a super damaging creature. Scorpions are also pretty bad. Okay, I think I've played enough. I have to stop now, otherwise I'll never stop. So, this seems to be going okay. I'm sure it will go even better next time. I I'm a, by the way, I'm on a time schedule. I can only defend my city against two attacks. We'll just have to see what happens next time. Bye-bye.